Hello! Today's video is a quick introduction into auto runs, which is part of the sysinternal suite. Okay, that's available from Microsoft. Uh, the link should be in the description and a pop-up should be coming over here to show you the video on how to get it. Anyways, basically what this program is all about is when Windows starts up, when you log in, etc. Lots and lots of programs, services, drivers are automatically started. Now, many of them are part of the normal day usage. Some of them you may not be using, okay? You may want to stop that to increase performance. And others may actually be malware and viruses, okay, that start up automatically. You can identify them using this program and you can stop them and thus make sure your computer is more efficient and also cleaner. Okay, so very simply, once you've downloaded the sysinternal suite, you would then unzip it and you would find basically auto runs. Click on that and then run as administrator. When you do that, it starts up like this, showing everything that starts up for a particular user and you can change that user basically if you want to see what starts up under the system account under the local service account under the network service account or in this case our account okay so you may find this a little bit of an overload looking at everything but you can then narrow it down to just for example when you log on what happens when you log on now, I might want to stop, shall we say, Google Chrome from starting up automatically at this point or something else. We look at the description, we look at the publisher. What you can do is, very nicely, you can verify the image, check virus total to see if that's actually a virus, this program that's starting up. Okay, maybe it says Google Chrome, but it's not really Google Chrome. So you'd verify the image, check virus total, etc. You could also search online if you find something as an unknown. And the simple thing is, all you need to do is just untick it. And every time we log on, Google Chrome will not start up. You might find that viruses might come in the form of drivers, services. Okay, they could also start up under the scheduled tasks. Part. they might come in as an image hijack okay this is perfectly normal what we're having over here but that's a possibility what we've done is very quickly shown you how to stop a program from starting up when you start up your computer all you need to do is unclick it we've shown you how to quickly have a look to see who's the publisher the description do a virus check okay search online all these things just to identify which programs you don't really need when it starts up to make your computer more efficient and also to remove possible malware and viruses etc. Hopefully this video has helped. Thank you for watching.